How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another quote of the day to have a great day. Today, our quote is by Audrey Hepburn. The quote is, people, even more than things, have to be restored, renewed, revived, reclaimed, and redeemed. Never throw out anyone. Throughout life, we have people who come into and are a part of our lives. Then due to various circumstances, they are then out of our life. So we really need to appreciate all the people who come into our lives for however long it may be. We need to make an effort to restore, renew, revive, reclaim, and redeem our relationships. In life, relationships are everything. And now in our modern day life, Loneliness and lack of meaningful relationships are an epidemic for so many. People's lives are literally being cut short. This for me has been very challenging since I have lived abroad since basically 2007. I was very social when I was younger, similar to a connector as described in Malcolm Gladwell's book, The Tipping Point. And then after university, I moved abroad and was immersed in my inner journey, living in my own bubble within a bubble. So now at this point in my life, I only have a handful of good relationships that I try to maintain with good friends and family back home. This is something that I could improve on. And with all the technology at our fingertips, it's easier than ever to reconnect and revive old relationships. So for today, take some time to think about someone who used to be in your life, who you really enjoyed being around, but is no longer in your life maybe it's an old college buddy and just take the first step of reaching out but before you do consider how your relationship ended did you slowly grow apart or did you guys have an argument and do you know anything about their current life considering some of these details can dictate how you may go about rekindling your old relationship and some other things that you should keep in mind is to manage your expectations. Realize that your past memories are coloring the way you view this person, but this person has changed and they may have had various major life experiences that have influenced this person. So don't assume you know them. You're essentially trying to meet someone new in many ways. So don't force the past upon this person and assume you know who they are now. Also, be upfront of why you are reaching out after all this time. And also, go slow. If it's been a really long time, then you can't expect someone to let you back into their life so easily. Just test the waters and don't intimidate the person with any unreasonable requests. And also, be ready that the person may not be ready or even want to resume a friendship with you. But the important thing is that you try to initiate a friendship, but in the end, it takes two to tango. And today's episode was about external relationships, and now I want to end by saying that ultimately, the most important relationship that we have to restore, renew, revive, and reclaim is with our very own selves. And this self is our true self, the essence of what we brought into this world, and not the surface personality that has been shaped through our life's experiences. We need to reconnect with our essence that is buried in our subconscious mind. We can do this by learning to make our conscious thinking mind more passive, breaking its power and dominance over us. In doing so, we slowly start to make our subconscious mind active. We start to feel our way behind our thinking process and our goal would then be a harmonious integration between these two independent aspects or consciousnesses of our being. By being in a harmonious relationship with our very own selves, we will be in a better position to have a harmonious and fulfilling relationship with the people we care about, a harmonious relationship with life itself. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's quote and topic. If you did, please help me out and hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. And don't keep me a secret. Share with someone who might find my content valuable. If you are new to my channel, check out my essential self-development playlist. There's some good stuff there. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. 
Take care. Peace.